In this video, I want to show you how the Ka, the equilibrium constant for acids, varies with the pKa value, and also how the Kb values for conjugate bases varies with the pKb, and how this relates to acid strength and base strength. I have a list of weak acids, and I included their Ka's and I calculated their pKa's by taking the negative log of the Ka. So let's take a look at Ka's versus pKa's. Remember equilibrium constants indicate how strong a weak acid is or a weak base. The larger the Ka, the more product favored the equilibrium. As far as acids go, the more product favored the equilibrium for a weak acid, the more hydronium the acid produces, therefore the more acidic the solution, therefore the lower the pH. So the acid with the largest Ka is the strongest acid of this list. And we see here that nitrous acid has the largest Ka value. Interestingly enough, we see that nitrous acid, which has the largest Ka value, strongest acid among these five, has the smallest pKa value. Hypochlorous acid, which has the smallest Ka value, is the weakest among these weak acids, and it has the largest pKa value. Now let's compare the Kb values for these conjugate bases of these weak acids. I calculated the Kb values by dividing 10 to the minus 14th by the Ka. Similarly, the larger the Kb value, the stronger the base. The hypochlorite ion has the largest Kb value and is the strongest weak base among these five. Now that makes sense because the hypochlorite ion comes from a very weak acid. Hypochlorous acid really wants to hang on to that proton relative to these other acids in the list. If it really wants to hang on to that proton, the hypochlorite ion really wants to grab on to a proton to reform the hypochlorous acid. Unlike the weakest conjugate base here, which is nitrite. The nitrite ion is the weakest base because it comes from the strongest acid. In other words, nitrous acid of these acids is the acid that really wanted to donate its proton the most. So the nitrite ion among these conjugate bases really doesn't want to grab on to another proton. So therefore it is the weakest base among these five. When we calculate the pKb, we see here the strongest conjugate base, which has the largest Kb, in this case the hypochlorite ion, has the smallest pKb. And the weakest, weakest base, which is the nitrite ion, has the smallest Kb and the largest pKb.